Good morning, guys and gals. Froggy here. And I got these uh, storage straps, Velcro storage straps uh, from Amazon. And I am going to show you how I'm going to use them and put them up and uh, how you can uh, help clean up your garage area, basically, using these straps. What I've got in mind is to clear up this area here, uh, which mostly the roping and strapping like that, because those are things I don't use every single day, and I'm going to move them to my other small garage. This is the small garage, and what I've got in mind is to mount a board, sort of like that board right there, I'm going to mount that across the very front of the garage uh, where the nose of the car goes up to there and I'll mount it crossways and then I can use these straps um, because I, I want to be able to place the straps anywhere I want them and I can't do that right into the drywall because I have to hit a stud because the strap might be holding something heavy. Um, I, I don't know what the rating is, but I think it's probably very high, like 50 pounds or more for the big straps. Uh, so I want to go across there, and then I can put these anywhere I want. Okay, so let's get started. So there's some, some lightweight wood uh, planking strips. Maybe they're uh, 10 feet, I'm not sure, and uh, pine or cedar. Uh, just some lightweight, easy to work with stuff that I am going to be able to use so that I can screw in some uh, more uh, substantial mounting uh, pieces for the straps. And I'm going to run it up high because I might do another row, like two rows, so I can hang, you know, twice as much stuff right on the front of the garage and you know if it's hanging up on the wall then it's out of the way and that gives me uh, more space down around the edges for stuff you know there's always something that goes in the garage uh, so let me get my uh, tape measure and I get a saw out and I'll get some uh, screws that'll go through that and then go through the wall board and then go an inch uh, at least an inch into the studs, so I'm looking for maybe a two and a half inch at least. I think I have some. So there's my tools, I've got it laid out. I'm uh, gonna put links to all these tools uh, in the comment area, especially this one. I'm gonna do a separate um, video on this. This is a little Makita uh, bit that's rated for impact and it will hold a screw so you can do one-handed screw. Is that cool or what? Uh, now, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run one across here above the switch for the door, uh, and then I'm gonna run one below. That way I can run edge to edge. You know, I, I could do it over here, but I think it'll just look nice to go up here and to go down here and go all the way across. Um, so now I have to find some studs. Oh, that's one more tool I need to get, my stud finder. I forgot that. So the way I use this tool, I've already got the marks there. I'm just going to show you. I hold this to initiate, and then you just drag it like that till it lights up. I already got that mark. Then I go three or five or six inches to the other side and drag it the other way. Like that. So there, I've got a stud that runs down there. And they should be, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, I think they're 18 inches apart. Uh, depends on your local code. But now I'll go and find a bunch more. So I've got uh, about six places marked out. Some of them actually I already knew about because I have those uh, um, cleats. Uh, screwed into studs to hold up the old uh, Christmas tree stuff. So now I know where all the other studs are. 
and let's uh, cut some boards to size and screw them up there. Okay, so I just slid it behind those two uh, pieces of paracord and just for temporary. One other tool I need is that level and that's uh, like a Stanley level I've had for 30 years and I haven't broken the glass out of it yet. So still works great. It's a nice size. So I'm going to hold it up with one hand and then I'm going to make it level. And with the other hand, I'm going to use that new Makita bit to uh, drive in the first screw. And then from there, I'll just level it again and drive in some more screws. I, uh, I don't know. I might do two screws on a stud some places and one on a stud other places. We'll see. I've got plenty of screws. So, okay, we've got our backer board or reinforcement board up there now. We can put those straps anywhere we want. And... Uh, it's level and I decided um, not to go too far over there because uh, I might have hit an electrical um, wire while I was uh, screwing in a screw. So we come up a little short there. I maybe can put a little piece of board up there just to make it look nice if I want to, but I won't really be hanging anything over there because it'll be in the way of the switch, the garage door switch and the light switch, okay? Uh, let's find some hangers for these. So there you get in a pack three large, three medium, three small. And the smalls are not that small. They're actually very good sized. The large ones are really big. Um, you know, maybe you need a garden hose or 100 feet of uh, extension cord or whatever you want. Um, now I guess is the fun part of picking out what I'm going to hang over there. And, you know, I might change my mind and move things around and such. Well, for now, here's what I'm going to use is this. It's a special kind of a screw with a little lip on it to hold that. It's not really what I want to use, but I don't have any more of what I want to use. And what I want to use are those types of screw hooks way up there. You can see it. See, it's, it's got a curved hook section and it screws in and it's bigger than these. But I want to get this done and get it up for you guys and gals. You can, um, you can use, you can use a nail, you can use a screw, you can use something a little bit fancier like what I just showed you. Um, in that order, the nail would be the least strong this would be in the middle, and then the one that I showed you, the hook up there. See, there's another one over there. Those hooks are very strong. And I would get them on a size that's like a, a two inch, maybe that one's probably a three inch, is too big um, for this, but that's the idea. So there you go, there's an example of uh, three things that I wanted to get out of my way. I'm thinking what I might do is put like 20 or 25 screws all over the place on this thing. And then I can, as I add to my wall of storage, I can move things around so that they lay flat and, you know, so they don't overlap. Uh, but but there you go. The only thing I would do is, is I would use something that's more of a hook here, but I didn't have any. So give me a thumbs up or a like if this helps you out. Subscribe to my channel if you want more from Froggy. Buy, from, buy some of these straps from Waxma. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, heavy duty storage straps. They are very cool. And Froggy's going to use up a whole bunch of them uh, in my garages. Okay, see you later. Be safe. Have fun. Bye-bye. You know, I'm back. I couldn't help myself. It felt so good to move some of this stuff out of my cluttered corner